very pretty centerpieces. Now, this, I love to entertain. Let me move it further. So I'm working from the iPad. The camera is going to be a little off. Um, so um, this is made on a small raised frame, right? And I kind of leave it empty right here so that we can place a candle or a centerpiece or anything that you want to put um, in here, okay? So this is the butterfly one, and I have a kit put together for it. It's on the website. Um, if you want to look it up, it's uh, NadiasCrafts.com. This is perfect for your home, as a gift, for a party, for any kind of event you have going on. Um, originally, I had a different color scheme going in. I wanted to put like a bright green and make it really, really summery, but then I kind of felt more for the subdued, calm kind of look, which is totally opposite of what I went through today. So I'm glad this came out like nice and calm. All right, hello everybody, welcome in. Centerpiece time, and it's very light. It's very light, um, and let me see what I can do to show you. This, this is a candle holder. Um, I'm going to just move the iPad and I'm sorry, you guys are going to have to work with me tonight in light of everything that went on today. I wish I just could. I'm afraid this is going to fall, but we're going to work it. So this will be like this with a candle holder, right? Um, I have a shorter one. I don't know where I placed it. I think I left it on the other arrangement. Um, but with the shorter candle holder, then you can go in and place a floral arrangement like so, even without the candle holder. This sits right there and this is just a very plain um, container that I just quickly threw some flour in and just made it a bit more colorful, right? So that's that could go in there like that. This could stay like this. It's just a statement on its own. Um, it is about, hold on, I'm measuring it backwards. So the finished size is about, I'm not going to say 20 inches, okay? I'm going to say more like 18 inches to the full, wherever is the fullest. So it's about 18 inches, um, which to be honest with you, it's also a perfect size uh, for an apartment door. So if you wanted to turn this into a wreath, you just simply hang it the way I just had it hung on the wall. Um, and you could put a bow, you could put a butterfly, you can attach anything you want to it, and it would turn into a very pretty um, wreath as well. So a lot of different ways you could use these cute little uh, centerpieces. So I have this one made. Um, I have another one that I just dropped, Bumblebee, with different ribbon that I did today. This was more black. Uh, the one we're doing tonight, it has a lot more yellow in it. This this one is not a kit. This one was actually for a customer. Um, Okay, so we are going to go. So the kit that you would be getting will be the butterfly one or the bumblebee. So you are going to get the frame. You are going to get the yellow um, mesh, which we'll talk about that in a minute. The black mesh, the ribbon tails, and we're going to talk about them in a second as well and pipe cleaners, okay? So everything you need is in the kit and everything is already measured and cut for you, okay? So there is no cutting, no nothing. Let me try to see if I can position the iPad a little bit better so that you can see more of the table, maybe this way. Let me turn it this way. There we go. Okay, so you can see more of my working um, surface. Let me see if I could pull up 
the comments so I don't miss anything. And if I do, forgive me. Just keep on repeating so that I will um, answer. And I'm sorry about all the technical difficulties, but now I know it's something to do in the settings of my phone. So that I know. So I will take care of that tomorrow morning. And the craziness just continues. There I am. Can I see the comments? Now I know. No, it's no, I don't want to hear me. Shh. There you go. All right. And comments we have. All right, everybody. Now the thing, can I see them over there? Yes, I can. Okay, so the frame, it's a raised frame. It has four rows. We are going to use the two top ones. I'm not going to, so we'll be using these two. We're not going to be using the two outsider ones, okay? Um, and I'm not paying attention to the brackets and I will tell you why, okay? Then you are getting, for the yellow one, so the purple butterfly one, it's it's really, I'm gonna say it's not for outdoor. I mean, you could definitely put it outdoor, but if it's raining, then I would kind of put it away. This one, the mesh is a bit different, so I don't know how to describe it, and I'm sure there is, a perfect name for and I don't know it but it almost feels like the mesh was coated with plastic if you will okay so if it gets wet nothing happens to it um and I know for a fact because I have um um a sunflower um that if you guys have seen the photo that I did on my uh um front door the sunflower that I placed on a stick almost like coming out of my pot, um, it is made out of this material, okay? Then we have the black mesh, which it's fine to be outside. I mean, we do use this stuff to put on wreaths and we do leave them outside and it's fine, but the wreath is hanging. This will be laying flat, so we don't want the water to sit in it, you know? On, on a door, it kind of slides off, sort of, right? So then you get the black mesh, and again, everything is measured, and cut, and then you're gonna get three different ribbon tails for the bumblebee, but there is two ribbon tails um, for, did I use two? Yes, I used two for the butterfly one, okay? And this is the one we get for the butterflies. Now, everything is measured and cut to size, like I said, however, um, I'm noticing because talking to customers, um, I like to dovetail my uh, tails, my ribbon tails. Some people prefer not to. Um, and for this particular centerpiece, I, I'm going to leave the choice up to you. So I'm going to cut it straight um, so that you have the perfect one. If you want me to do it, just when you order the kit, just say, you know what, Nadia, can you please cut them diagonal for me or dovetail for me, however you want it cut, okay? But if you don't specify, they will come just straight for you to make your own decision, okay? Because I've noticed, you know, in, in some customers ask me to do it in a different way and, you know, so I think this might be a little easier, okay? And then you're gonna get pipe cleaners. I don't know why I have a random blue one in the middle of the black, but you know, that's the kind of day. So that's the kind of day we had. I brought this upstairs because, let me see if I, oh, okay. For this black and yellow one, I don't know. I did start with the bumblebees, but then I found this pretty ribbon. So um, if instead of this bumblebee ribbon, you want this bumblebee, just send me a message. I didn't post it. Um, on my website, but just message me and tell me that you want the bumblebee wreath with the daisy, and I'll know exactly what you're talking about. But it's the same combination, just this in place of that. So you decide, okay? You decide. All right, so we are going to get started. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And hello, everybody. Thank you for coming in. I don't think I posted my website. So for those of you who are new and just see me for the first time, you can find me. Uh, let, me let me make sure. <laughs> Last week I put in the wrong website. I'm telling you. Uh, what's my website? Nadiascrafts.com Crafts.com And like I said, this is, this is a really nice um, centerpiece for a party, a baby shower, or anything you have going on and put something special in the middle. Um, and like I tell um, all my... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call you guys customers. Can I call you friends? Can we, can we all be friends? Um, I don't like to call you customers. Um, we're friends. We're all friends. New friends, old friends. We're all friends, right? Um, it won't let me pin it. Let me see. Why not? I'm the owner of the page, so I need to be able to pin it. No, no. Okay. Telling you, it's that kind of night. I will keep repeating it if you guys uh, need to. Um, if you uh, have a party coming up and you need a lot of the kits, please contact me um, because I have been doing a lot of the wreath uh, kits for parties and stuff, and I do like to give um, um, some type of discount if you're purchasing. A large amount okay so please get in touch with me okay so with the pipe cleaner so as I said we are going to only see okay we have one which is the one that sit sits right we have the second one that it's raised we have the third one on the inside and then the fourth one on the inside the inner ring the smaller one which is the one that sits okay we are going to be using two and three. And I am not minding attention to the brackets simply because using the brackets to, to start or to reference, it kind of discombobulates the arrangement and I want my poofs to be completely free so that I can here here you can see me so that I can arrange them where I want them to be where it best makes the roundest arrangement I do not put them ahead of time I will put one on the outside and one on the inside simply because as I go along I want to see where the placement is going to be okay we are going to put the yellow one on the outside okay and oh let me show you how to no uh take it back we start from the black because the yellow ones i ruffled already and it's a very very simple technique um and let me just make some room okay put this away because it has you know the uh where is the thingy mesh catches and everything so you're gonna lay it flat in front of you curved side up so it's curling with the face up yes you're going to go from one end and you're going to curl it in I'm sorry you're also gonna get two close pins um, in your kit which <laughs> the left in the box you're gonna pin it you're gonna turn it okay and you're going to curl it in at the same the same way on the other side and at this point you're just going to stay in the center and keep scrunching all the way to the other side until you get this very pretty bow tie right there right just as simple as that okay and then you're gonna go in this is the black it goes on the third ring which is the inside one and I'm just going to place it in I like to push it down a bit as you see I'm putting a bit of pressure there and then I'm going to twist okay I'm sorry I'm probably missing comments hello everybody 
Oh, Janice, first time. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining us tonight. All right, so this is the first one, and it's going to be yellow. And as you see, they move, which is what we want for this kind of arrangement. At least for me, I, I find it to be um, better, okay? I'm going to show you again. Let's do it again. We are going to make our cute little bow tie. So I'm going to curl, can you see me? Yes. I'm going to curl in and I'm going to clip. I'm going to turn. And I'm really not curling it maybe once, twice. That's it, just because I wanna hide the raw edge, all right, the cut edge. Because here what we have um, is the factory edge and that's what we want to show. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to stay in the, in the center and I'm gonna keep scrunching, I'll make sure you see me, all the way to the end, okay? And this is the pretty bow tie that we get, okay? So we are going in and we are placing it. I'm going to, can you see me? Okay, I'm going to pressure down toward the ring and close it and twist it like three times so that it's nice and tight in the, I was gonna say the scrunchie. I don't know why that word just came to me. How long is the mesh? Debbie, the mesh is 20 inches, 20 inches long. Okay. I'm sorry, I put this upside down. I like for the curls. Let me show you. So this is the way we curled in. I like for this part to be on the bottom so that we only see the pretty side. I mean, they're both pretty sides, but you know. Oh, thank you, Karen. Let me tell you, it's been a day. And an applause to Kelly. <laughs> Listen to me all day. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go again with another yellow. Let me get that. Okay. And again, the yellow goes on the outer ring. I don't know why I twisted it. You don't need to, to do that. And I'm going to push it down. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> and two and three. Three nice twists. Don't worry about the placement of the mesh. We are going to come back to that, okay? Now we are going in with another black. So I'm going to put in my pipe cleaner on the inner ring. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. If this is your first time, let us know. I love when I get new friends to join us. I'm Nadia, and we are putting together a summer centerpiece. This one happens to be a bumblebee and we do have the kit available. And we also have a butterfly centerpiece kit that you can um, purchase. There we go. And where are we at? We are at a yellow. And I'm gonna show you again because I don't have the black already ready, so we're gonna do that more of that together so everybody gets to see that technique again. Okay, I'm gonna twist it. I am not paying attention to what the mesh looks like now. Um, I think it's gonna go in this section. And I'm putting, it looks like three in each section. Um, we're going to count all of them at the end, but for the purple one, I had eight on the outer ring and six on the inner ring. So it will be eight yellows and six black, black, red in this case. 
because that one is purple and the natural color. What do I need? I need a yellow. Okay, and we just keep on doing this all the way around. Hey, Tracy. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Can you all see me? Okay. All right. And now we're going to fold in a black one, so curl side up. We are going to curl in a couple of times on one side and clip it. Go on the other side and fold it in again. But now we are going to scrunch in the center until we get to the other side. I am doing okay, Tracy. You know what? I will not complain anymore. It was a crazy day with all the <laughs> technical Facebook difficulties. But you know what? At least I figured out what the problem is and then we can fix it tomorrow. It ain't happening tonight. Uh-uh. Okay. We need another yellow. I think I need a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner right here. And we do a yellow. Oh, that's wonderful. Ladybug Center. I love ladybugs. <laughs> raining here. Kelly, it's been raining on and off all day over here. Please, it's been raining here since, since December. I, I'm not even, I'm over it. It's fine. It is what it is. I am not going to complain. Okay, we're going to fold in and scrunch and, oh, I didn't put a pipe cleaner. Come on, Nadia. Come on, Nadia. 10 inch. What, wait, what? Oh, I thought the rain. <laughs> I think. The wreath frame. No, the wreath frame, I think, let me double check. I don't know if I ended up grabbing the 8 inch or the 10 inch. This one is a 10 inch. It is a 10 inch frame. Sorry, I didn't see that question. Yes, I am. Tracy, yes, I am. Okay, so we almost at the end, so we are at the last section, and I want to see, so I definitely need a yellow. Yeah, Michelle, please. It, it's a setting, it's something on my phone. It's something on my phone because it's working on my iPad now. So, listen, all I'm going to say is that since this morning when... My friends told me you should go back to bed and I should have listened. I realize that I, I know how to cuss in a lot of different languages. That's all I'm going to say, friends. That's all I'm going to tell you. A lot of different languages. languages. And it's been a day. Curl it in. All the way. Scrunch it up. And I believe this is our last one. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, now we're gonna go in and have some fun as soon as I clean up this mess around me. Like you don't need to see my coffee cup. My Christmas coffee cup, mind you. And you know, listen, Christmas is coming again. So, why? Why bother? Okay, I'm gonna put my clips away. All right, so this is what we have so far. Now, the way I like to uh, arrange it is first of all, I like to 
fix it as I place my uh, tails simply because I don't know if I want the black to show more or the yellow to show more all right so I usually oh thank you thank you Jean um, so I wait until I put my tails in and then I decide which color I want where okay so we have the black oh no you can't see me the black tails we have the striped black and yellow and we have the bumblebee so I know for sure that I cannot put the black on the black so I'm going to put these two together over the yellow and the way I like to do it you know and and I'm sure you guys have seen me do this already. I don't like to overlap them. I like to stagger them a little bit. So I, I probably a half an inch over. I like to do them like that. And then I'm going to fold in half and I'm going to scrunch. And I'm going, this one is going on my yellow. So it's going here. And once we're done, we're going to decide what we want to do with our tails. I just want to make sure you can see me. Okay. And I'm going to wrap my pipe cleaners to the back. And I want to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because you know what? I might go to a store in a couple of days and find maybe some cute little flowers that I might want to add. So I want to have the pipe cleaner in there in case I do want to add in a little some sum in there, you know? So now I'm going to take my yellow, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to scrunch it in the center. And I'm going to place it, can you see me? I'm going to place it on the black. And that's the only one that's going to go on the black. Um... Debbie, they are 13 inches, okay? And again, I'm going to put my tail, my, um, yeah, my pipe cleaners to the back. So now, I'm going to, as I go along, let me turn this around. As I go along, I'm going to fix my tails. Remember, take them like scissors, use your fingers as scissors, and pull your ribbons up and out up and out so you give it like a pretty curve and now you have all the pretty colors coming through right there okay all right so that's how we're going to do it and now I'm going to go on the yellow and on the yellow we are going to have the black I'm going to take my black I'm going to take my Bumblebee, I'm going to place them over each other, stagger them about a half an inch, fold in half, scrunch in the center. Hey, Donna. Scrunch in the center, and we're going to go on the yellow and place them in. Okay. And again, I'm going to take my long pipe cleaners and bring them to the back okay and I'm going to take my black fold in half and it's going to take us a second to figure out how we want the tails and we're going to do them together okay so this goes on my black and I'm going to wrap you can cut the pipe cleaners if you want. Um, I just know me and I might go back in my workshop and be like, oh, this will look really pretty on that. So I wanna have the option to have the, the pipe cleaners to add something if I want to, okay? All right, so what do we think so far? It's coming out nice, right? The pretty colors that come off oh, so pretty. Happy, it's happy. I don't know, I, I'm, in, uh, I'm in the yellow kind of mood <laughs> lately. It's just like a bright, happy color. 
bright and happy color. Okay, next. Any questions so far? I don't think I'm... Thank you, Jean. And it kind of, you know, the sending the pipe cleaners to the back, it also helps um, keep the mesh a little um, standing up so that if you do want to put your candle holder, you're not struggling. It sits very nicely in there so that your mesh is, you know, standing up a little. Or, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, we don't want that to fall. Or we could go in with a floral arrangement. No, I will go a little higher, just like that, right? So you see how the mesh is like standing up a little bit, okay? Where are we? I think I need one tail in there. Wouldn't it be easier to put the ribbons, tails on with the mesh? Janice, yes, if that's how you prefer to do it. I don't prefer to do it that way. I'd rather go back once I know for sure that my mesh is where I want it to be. Um, I prefer not to do it together. To me, for me personally, I can fix them better if I put them on separately and give them the direction I want and the placement I want. But if for you it's easier, then do it together, of course. Whatever works, right? Whatever works. This is the beauty of being a crafter, right? <laughs> okay. This I want in the back. Hello, Jenny. I have not gotten that far in my wreath making. Oh, well then try it. Try and see what works the best for you. For me, I feel like when I do it together, yeah, it's a little faster, but then I feel like my ribbon is not as neat as I prefer it to be. Um, and not, not, not that I'm perfect, but to, I don't know. It just feels... Um, it's better to do one piece at a time. Jenny, Jenny, we're good. We are all good. Right, friends? We are good. We are here. We are together. We are crafting. We're good. We are good. Good, good. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I, I, I mean, look, everybody has different ways of doing things, and I try other ways, but I guess also because, you know, the problem with my hands, and I'd rather just, it's harder for me to hold everything at once. So I try to, I told my husband we should take insurance out just for my hands because, you know. <laughs> They worked a lot, right? <laughs> Fold in half, scrunch in the center. And you see, can you see me? No, let me move this. When you scrunch in the center, the ribbon kind of takes the natural curve and that's what you want to keep and you want to embrace it. So that when you place it, then it already has a nice shape. Oh, that is a beautiful flower, let me tell you. Actually, no, I can't say it in case I don't know if she's gonna watch the live. Well, there's one of my really good friends. She loves, loves, loves Gerbera Daisy and her birthday's coming up this week. So I think I'm gonna surprise her. I think I'm gonna surprise her because that's something that she's been wanting to do for her front door and we haven't had a chance to get together. 
Mainly because of me, I'm just going to put it out there. Not her. Me. Me fault. <coughs> oh, thank you, Jenny. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And if you just came in, we have the kits available on our website, nadiascrafts.com. Everything comes cut to size. Um, you don't even need scissors to cut the pipe cleaners. The only thing is I do send, unless you specify how you want your tails cut, I do send them cut straight um, because I've had a lot of different requests. Oh, we're done with that. So... I just leave them straight, but if you tell me that you want dovetails, then I will. If you want them, di cut them diagonal, I will cut them diagonal for you. And I'm going to show you both options. Oh, actually, yeah, because on the butterfly, I left them cut diagonal. Okay, so now that all my ribbons are in place yes yes okay now that all my ribbons are in place now i'm going to go back and make sure that i cover if there is an opening and if i pull out more black or more yellow depends on where we're at and make sure that everything is where <coughs> excuse me it's supposed to be Okay, all right, so for the tails, we can do, can you see me? Diagonal, like that, yeah. Or we can, right, go like that. So what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I think I'm gonna duck tell these ones because I did them um I cut them diagonal for the uh butterfly. I'm gonna show you guys in one second. I don't like these scissors, don't like them. I'm gonna fix that one. There we go. I'm just gonna go around. And then, like I said, whether you want a centerpiece in it, a candle, um, you know, whatever you want. Or maybe you find a giant bumblebee or whatever you want in the center. Or you could just leave it like that. Hey, Judy. Okay, so pretty full. Listen, I love these scissors, but hmm, the first time I use them, it's not a smart idea. I wasn't paying attention, and ooh, fa were they sharp? Ooh. Sharp, sharp, sharp. That was not a fun five minutes or 10 maybe. Definitely not. And like I said, this, um, I'm going to tell you what the finished size is. Um, but I think we had established before from the other one that was about. Um, thank you, Judy. Yes, you can. Um, Turn it into a wreath. It doesn't have to be a um, centerpiece. Um, and you can add a bow. Um, and it could definitely be, like my daughter's uh, apartment building, like she loves the wreaths now, but you know, it, it's an apartment building. So the door is not as big as my regular front door. So this is like the perfect size um, for her door. But she does not like bumblebees. No, nope. does not. Look at that. Look how quick we put this together. Hmm. So quick. 
and one. Okay. And I clean up so I can bring you guys up and I can show you the other two that we have made. And this could go, where am I putting? Oh, this could go back here. This could get out of the way. Let me grab the other one. And you know what? I wasn't that messy either tonight. Think of that. Imagine that, because I am a mess. This is a butterfly kit, and it has the very pretty lavender colors. And I mean, this is just, this is, this is like every day, all year round. It just makes you happy to look at it. It doesn't have to be any particular season, you know, just like so. And then again, a candle holder, like so, or <coughs> just a simple centerpiece just like that and this becomes a very pretty for any occasion any dinner get together every day for you to enjoy for you to look at pretty flowers and enjoy right because we deserve that we deserve that to just look at something that makes us happy what do we think what do we think let me bring you guys up without dropping anything because let me tell you that's all i need today <laughs> hello all right so one and again this oh let me see what the finished size is yeah i'm gonna say it's 18 inches i'm actually gonna say it's 17 inches because you can't really tell you know, especially if you're giving it to a customer, it's really not a full 18 inch. Um, but the frame I use is a 10 inch. If you want this to be a bigger centerpiece, then of course we could use a 12 inch um, centerpiece. But this is one finished. And if you can put a bow in the center or a bumblebee or any attachment, this will become a very pretty wreath or it could be a very pretty centerpiece. And the same for this. Am I the camera? Yes. Wreath or centerpiece. How do you like that? And the kit includes everything you need. You don't need any extra tools. Um, if you want the tails cut in a certain way or diagonal like this, just let me know. If you don't let me know, they will be just um, straight like so. Okay? So just specify. All right, any questions? Did I miss any questions? Oh, thank you, Karen. Yeah, this is just a little sum sum that I put together because I thought this needed something <laughs> just pretty and purplish and colorful and happy, just happy, happy, happy. We needed some happy today, right? <laughs> just something happy. All right, well, at the end of my crazy day, I, this was amazing to be able to make this fun little project with you all. Um, it's been fun. <laughs> it definitely was a nice touch to end my, uh, my crazy day. Um, yes, Judy, they're both the same kind of frame, and this is a 10-inch raised frame. Yes, both the same frames. Um... And they're both on my website. If you're interested in um, getting them, if you have any questions, just reach out and I can answer all your questions. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this beautiful ending <laughs> to a uh, rainy gray day. And um, we'll see you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye.